Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Monday, May 2nd, and uh, the first day of trading in May. It's 8.15 a.m., and I'm going to record a quick uh, video on how I use Equity Feeds Market View to find active stocks, and then I check previous trading to decide whether or not there could be a trading opportunity today. So first things first, this is Equity Feeds Market View, Equity Feed Package for me. Uh, they have a number of packages. I subscribe to the $5 and under, which is $99 a month. I also get the level two service for an additional $20. So I pay $120 a month for this. And I think it's a great tool for full-time traders. Part-time, probably not, but at least this will give you some insight as to what I look for in the morning when I'm making uh, potential day trade uh, decisions. First things first, equity feed. It has really, really good tools. Idea generation, market monitoring, which market view falls under decision support, news and filings tools, a watch list manager, and a layout manager. So this again falls under the market monitoring tools. Uh, what I do is I go with all the markets, NAS, New York, Amex, OTC, and Pink Sheets, and then I go stock types, and I get rid of everything but regular securities. That'll filter it down. Then I go filter range, usually 0.25 to $5. That'll filter it down even further. As the day goes on, I increase the trades to 100. So I'm getting out all of those stocks that are up 1,000%, but only have one trade. Okay, and I'll filter it based on that time frame I don't touch. All right, so now I'm looking at what has, you know, 20, 30 to 200 trades in the morning pre-market. Then I check the chart to see whether or not, you know, there's uh, price action that supports a possible trade. And this is you know, how I start my day most every morning. Once the day gets going, what I'll do is I'll sort this by percent change instead of trades. So right now I'm sorted by trades. All right, you can see uh, just one trade and you can see, you know, 465 trades with YRCW, which I'm guessing had bad news. Um, once the day gets going, I'll sort by percent change and start looking for stocks that are, you know, moving but not really, really up yet. And then I'll look for some price action on the one day chart, you know, and on the yearly monthly chart to support possible entry. Uh, once this gets going though, once I sort by percent change, probably around 10, 11 a.m., I'm going to switch over to, you know, 100 trades for sure, because I want a stock that's liquid. And you can see what that does. It completely decreases uh, the amount of you know, options on the list. So obviously it's pre-market and that's the reason why there's only two. There would be a number of stocks trading much more actively over 100 trades. Go back to that. Uh, but, you know, that shows you what's moving on the day. Uh, and you can start to pick out stocks that way as well. So it's a really, really good filter. It works really, really well. Uh, but again, pre-market, I'm going by number of trades and then I start to look through, okay, Obviously, I know all these companies, and I'll go through. We all know AliXG, uh, and I want to see, you know, which stocks have a chance of moving up today or over the next couple of days. So from this, I'll scroll over. I'll look at how much it's up. I'll look at the price, obviously, and then I'm looking at the number of the trades in pre-market. And then I pull up the chart. I pull up the news. I look at the filings real quick, and I decide whether or not this is something that uh, could be possibly scalped. All right, or you know, small swing trade to a short-term trade, and it's a really, really good tool. Um, so again, select the markets, all stock type, regular securities, filters 25 cents to five dollars. You can leave that off if you want, but I like to narrow my search to that price range. Time frame is basic. I sort by trades. I look for stocks, and then I check the chart. All right, I'm looking for a stock that had. Uh, a lot of trades the day before, so there's liquidity. So once I find a stock, let's say AEZS, I check the chart. I'll also check to see how many trades it had the day before. It's important to know because I want a stock that has a lot of people looking at it. And I also want a stock that has a good, you know, price range that I can trade. Okay, so I'm looking for, you know, 20 to 50 cents on a larger 3 to $4 stock. I'm looking for, you know, 10 to 20 cents on a smaller one to two dollar stock. And, you know, I want a lot of trades the day before. And I don't want it to be up a ton because I don't want it to be chasing. So I don't want it to be up 50 percent the day before. I'd like to see three or four percent the day before, three or four percent in the pre-market, a couple of hundred trades, if not more, in the pre-market. And then, you know, I'll, 
you know, look to take a potential position. This is uh, also a tool I use to find stocks that have really big news uh, pre-market. And then I'll try and get in on the first dip and scalp it when it starts to run. Uh, what I mean by that is when the stock, you know, opens, it's usually up 20%. But people look to take profits who were in before the good news. Stock pulls back on that profit taking. If you can get in right at the low there and play the bounce, it's a good way to scalp some quick uh, trades. So that's another way I use this tool. So again, market view from equity feed. This is one of the things I use in the morning. And uh, you know, if you're in chat with me, you'll hear a lot about this. Uh, you don't have to necessarily get this package. It's it's one that I uh, use and helps support my trades. And of course, if you're simply following my strategy, then it's not necessary. But if it's something you want to look into, they have a nice 30-day free trial. I don't make any money for telling you this. So trust me, in my opinion, it's worth it. All right, take it easy, everybody.